Have you ever looked at your monthly bank statement and realized there were extra costs you didn't account for? Believe it or not, printing can be an excessive expense for your business that may not be on your radar. That's why a feature like Xerox Standard Accounting is important to have for businesses who want to track their costs to make sure it aligns with their budget. I'm Mary Schamberger and I'm the Business Development Manager at STPT. I have been answering customers' questions about copiers and printers for 13 years and I've done all kinds of training from leaders in the industry. In this video, you will learn what is Xerox Standard Accounting, how it can help you control printing costs, how to enable Xerox Standard Accounting on your Xerox machine, pros and cons of using Xerox Standard Accounting. First up, what is Xerox Standard Accounting? Xerox Standard Accounting, or XSA, is a standard feature that is embedded on most Xerox printers and is primarily used to track and limit the number of prints or copies by each user. So you don't have to download any additional software or spend hours of your IT department's time getting it loaded. This feature serves as a cost controlling tool that will allow you to see directly where costs and usage comes from by monitoring the prints your office makes and who produced them. How can I control costs with Xerox Standard Accounting? You can set print quota parameters for the number of print, copy, scan, and or fax jobs that a user can perform. You can account for device activity down to the user or general department level. You can manage a user's access to color for both copy and print jobs. You can also set your parameters to where you can only print from like 8 to 5, Monday through Friday, if you want to eliminate people using the machine after hours. So now let's talk about how to enable Xerox Standard Accounting for the AltaLink series. From your computer or network connected device, on the same network as the printer, open a web browser. Two, in the web browser address field, enter the IP address of your printer and then press enter. And don't worry, this page is completely normal when using a Chrome browser. Just hit advanced and move on to the link. The embedded web server homepage will be displayed. Click on the login button at the top right. The user accounts window will be displayed. Click on admin. Enter the system administrator password in the field provided, and then click on the login button. Click on the properties tab at the top of the web page. In the left column, click login permissions accounting dropdown, then choose accounting methods. In the accounting methods area for Xerox standard accounting, click the green icon. From the drop-down menu, select Xerox Standard Accounting and press Save. Under Configuration Settings, click Edit by Service Tracking, and this is where you will make your selections on how you want to track your prints and copies. You can just track color by enabling Color Tracking Only. This way, anyone can print in black and white, but users would need a code to print in color. Also, you will notice you can track scans but because there is usually no charge for scans, most customers prefer to leave that disabled so scanning is not restricted. Once you've made your selection, press Save. Now you can go on to Edit Users and Limits. To add a new user, simply click the Add New User button. Then give the user a display name and under Username, User ID is where you will put your user's code that they will use to access the machine. There are little black information icons around the web page to help guide you. If you would like to restrict the number of impressions the user is allowed to have, input that number under User Limits and then click Apply. You can set up group accounts by clicking Edit on the group and general accounts. This feature is used for organizational monitoring and reporting. Then when all of this is finished, restart your printer. Here are four pros of Xerox Standard Accounting. Cutting printing costs, limit by print function. So if you need to set limits on a number of copies you make in a month, for example, you'd be able to do that without changing the other basic functions such as scan and fax. Easy implementation and minimal service required. Three cons of Xerox Standard Accounting are pin required to access the printer, no auto reporting contents of prints, so it doesn't allow you to see the contents of what an individual user is printing or copying. And three, only manageable by individual machine. 
which means the feature will not automatically carry over to other printers in your fleet. You can individually set up your XSA for each printer you possess, but if you have a large number of machines, this can be very time consuming. If you have any additional questions about Xerox Standard Accounting or want more information about the feature or other print management software options, head to our website and fill out the Contact Us form. If you're a company that runs a tight budget and wants to eliminate trivial costs, then the XSA feature would be a good fit to help your business's overall budgetary goals.